ports, they had an ignition key, and then they also had a trunk key. Well, I'm going to change my original key locks to the ignition key, which originally they were your trunk key. Your trunk key and door key was one key, and the ignition key was a separate key all on its own. But I like to have my doors and my ignition key all to be the same. I'm gonna show you how I changed this out and you can change it. Gonna have to remove that door panel. I've already re removed mine and your water shield. <clears throat> Don't forget your armrest base. Uh, you got one, take that off. Also your window crank and your door handle crank. With that out of the way, we can gain access in this pocket. There is your door latch mechanism right there. But what we need is the lock, and it's right up there. And we're going to have to remove that, that rod. So and all it is is just a, a push-in clip, and it's got that keeper, that rusted keeper. Just push it off the rod and the rod should come right on out. Friendly persuasion. There we go. And that just dude, that dude just pulls straight up off the rod and it's been there for a while. And there goes the rod. Next, is that keeper right here and all it does is slide in you ripped some skin off yeah I ripped a lot of skin there's the clip it's just under pressure but anyway after that we can just uh So first things first on these key sets, these key locks, uh, that's usually how they come out. Remember the orientation which you got it out of your door. This points to Sometimes I like to put a little score mark on it, which I'm going to do now. So that way I'll know which side goes on which side. So I'm gonna score it. I'm gonna score it right here. You can use a marker, whatever you want to use. I'm just gonna score it. So first of all, on uh, the key set, if you look real closely, they have these little flat sides on them. But one side is shinier, it's got a little cover on it. And that's the side you got to remove. Yeah. And that's real easy to do. You can be real careful. I gotta get my friendly persuasion. But looking real carefully, as you can see, it's uh, got a little groove there there's one on the other side you just come in and pry on that till you can get it to uh, to loosen up you may have to use a little bit bigger screwdriver oh there it goes so that popped up when you take this off you gotta be real careful because you have Well, you got those little springs right there. I'm gonna try to keep them. So there's the second one. And I did not pay attention the first time, but we're gonna go over this so that way you know the orientation in which the uh, the pins come out. Let me grab them. When they come out, the top pin just got that little uh, little tip on it. That's what the spring sits on. 
So it's spring. Pin. And this was the second one. So I'm going to kind of keep it in line the way I take them out. <laughs> Excuse me. There goes another spring. And they're going to be different sizes. That's what makes uh, the lock work. So I'm just keeping them in order. And that's the last one. And oh yeah, if you drop one of these, you may not find it later. Here's the first one. There's a pin about to come out. Thing is, just take your time. All right, now that penetrating oil. Get them sap suckers out. While that's working, <clears throat> you gotta remember we gotta take the uh, the back off. So you gotta take that clip off. Just walk it off. I'll put that right there. That is my washer. After that is the lever. And we've already marked the lever, so I know what side it goes back on. Right there's my mark. I know what the orientation is on. Here's your sorry. Here's your little compression washer, which helps keep everything tight. So, Alright, so that's freed up. Let's just get those other pins out. Come oh, there's one right there. You see it? How's that dude coming out? All right, so that one came out. <clears throat> that one came out with the flat side on the, spring on the spring and the concaved side down in there. And that was that was this one. All right, let's uh, see if we can get some more to fall out. All right. And that one was the second one right, right there. I'm just keeping them in order. It'll help me figure out because I kind of know the pins that I used on the driver's side. I don't think that really matters. And you don't have to use all of them. You can just use one or you can not even put them back in there and the, and the lock will work no matter what. It'll just work with any key if you don't uh, have any of the pins in there, but not necessarily everybody's gonna know that unless you tell them. So I just got one left. So I think I'm going to leave that as just a one pin set because the other key won't work. I get it out. <clears throat> but this key works. So leave that as one pin set and we're going to put the top back on here. All right, 
well that is back on it and let's put everything else back together just like you took it off same orientation we got the compression uh, compression washer and then we got our lever which put my flat washer back on my keeper All right, we're ready to put it back on the car. All right, we're ready for that keeper now. Ah, there it is. All right, there's that. Let's slide that keeper back around. Clip it to the rod. There we go. So, ignition key, there we go, it locks the door, locks, comes out, here's the uh, trunk key, used to be door key, nothing. So let's try the key, remember. We set the pins to fit the ignition key. It's operating the knob. Door doesn't open. Door opens. Guys, that's it for this video on resetting the tumblers, resetting your locks to fit your keys without having to buy new locks. Pin set locks, it varies uh, all older cars that have pin sets, you can do this with. Newer models, I'm not so sure of. Anyhow guys, I hope this was beneficial to you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. A lot of things coming. Hit that bell so you'll be notified. You won't miss anything. If you haven't seen any of my videos other than this one right here, go check out my channel. Uh, I got tons of videos. Mustangs, Hummers, off-roading, four-wheeling, stuff in the man cave. Always something going on in the man cave. We'll see you guys next time.